Hello people, I'm Javi Kawei, joined by Emily Cheneau. And uh, we're gonna look at Damal. This is Rashi Middlecar's suggestion, as you guys might know, Rashi Middlecar does a bunch of subtitles for us. Oh, that was a loud noise. I don't know if you guys heard that, that was a garage closing underneath my apartment building. So Rashi Middlecar, the person who makes a lot of subtitles on our channel, she recommended this video. And uh, so we're gonna look at it. It's got mixed reviews in terms of the votes. It stars Sanjay Dutt, Arshad Warshi, Ritesh Deshmukh, and Javed Jaffrey. I don't know anything about this. I'm not gonna read the description yet. You already did, I know. And we're gonna check this out. Here we what? go, you <laughs> cheater. <laughs> You already read it, right? I skimmed it. You skimmed it. Yeah, exactly. I glazed over it. Sneaky, sneaky lady. Okay, here we go. This is super goofy. Okay. Sir, we are the most safe place in the world. Hey! 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 ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
like old school. Yes, it's know? very old school in its in its execution. I like this little bit where he goes, Auntie a rat, and it's like this pizza on the I mean, this this is the kind of thing my dad would have loved. This is his kind of comedy right here. Like the pizza on the ceiling reminds me of a story he told me actually. Hopefully you guys enjoy this aside. Basically, my dad was like a little kid eating pancakes or something, and uh this syrup bottle fell on the floor and syrup got everywhere. And his dad was like this super aggressive Italian dude who mm -hmm. just was like, he was a scary guy. And my dad was a little kid. And so he cleaned up the syrup as fast as he could and he got back to eating his pancakes. And he looked and lo, lo and behold, there was more syrup on the floor. He's like, what the hell? And he goes and cleans it up really fast. And he goes back and sits down again and there's more syrup. He's like losing his mind and he cleans it up one more time. And his dad comes into the into the house and steps on the floor. It's like, there's, it was like something sticky on the floor. And he looks and he looks up. And what happened was when the bottle hit the floor, it squirt onto the ceiling. <laughs> His dad figured it out. And so that's why that, that scene reminded me of that. That's just gross though. <laughs> like why is he keeping pizza on the, on the ceiling? Saving it for later. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never know when you'll need a slice of pizza. <laughs> yeah, that's just nasty. I love the thing with the belt and like, what the hell? <laughs> like, who has a belt with a magnet in it that's that strong? Like, that's just impossible. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Yeah. And we call him Grandpa. Like, I don't even understand, like, I don't understand. Go ahead. Can we really fast just talk about this outfit? Which, which the, the, outfit? The overalls and the hat. And okay. The, the, it's amazing. It's 80s in a way that's so just like wholeheartedly enthusiastic. And I think like not at all what you'd expect these characters to be wearing. And right. I think it's incredible. Right. I think that's what I wore as a toddler. Yeah, I think we all did. Yeah. I think that's just an American toddler uniform. Uniform. <laughs> It's, it's what you do after you come out of the hospital, it's what they give you. This whole bit with the painting actually cracked me up. You didn't understand it, did you? I think, wait, so is he trying to like sell a painting and say it's a painting of a horse eating grass, but he doesn't know how to paint? It's a scam. Right. It's, it's just a scam. He's like, he, I, I, that's what it looks like to me. Cause he's like, the whor he's like, well, it's supposed to be a painting of a horse. I'm like, well, the horse went off, you know, <laughs> to go, it went off to the water or something. He's like, well, where's the grass that's supposed to be here? He's like, why would the horse stick around with like, after it? I, the, <laughs> I, th I thought that was really clever, that's just like, you know. No, that's, yeah, I got that. You know, trying his best to just sell him an empty canvas for a lot of money. That's a very Andy Warhol kind of thing. <laughs> it's just like selling bullshit. <laughs> for millions. Yeah, for millions. It's like the, you know, the toilet art. Well, all I know is about the butthole one. That's the only one I know about. Oh, I don't know about the butthole one. So what happened was Andy Warhol <laughs> took a picture of his butthole. He just did it. It had a, it had a, he did a painting of his butthole, but like in different colors, and he and he had like four of them. It wasn't like a stamp, like he didn't like paint his butthole and like. Stamp. It may have, it may have, it may have been that. <laughs> I, I just know that it was four images of his butthole with different colors. Okay. And he and he like put that out there on display, and all these art connoisseurs are like, "Oh my god, it's so beautiful! It's got us all these vivid colors," and like they were like really judging it. And then later on, he comes out, and he's like, "Yeah, that's my butthole," uh -huh. and, and the art world lost its mind. It was like they were so livid. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I love things like that. Did he come out with like a reason for why it was art though? Like it's like no, it's he like was the truest expression of my yeah, like. He's just he's just you know he's just having fun basically because he knows that there's BS. I think it was Banksy or someone I forget who, but some famous artist went into New York and sold his own paintings that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars for like ten bucks, mm -hmm. twenty bucks, hundred bucks, something like that, just to see what would happen. And and there's a lot of people who are like. Nah, and they would walk away when they could have bought like a ten thousand dollar painting for like a hundred bucks yeah. or something. You know, it's just I like stuff like that. I don't know. I think like art connoisseurs like to think things are worth like they're more interested. There's obviously a couple jokes in here I didn't get, but for the most part, I really enjoyed this trailer. I thought it was a lot of fun. The comedy resonates with me for some reason. I, I think it resonates with me because of the stuff I watched as a kid. I watched a lot of I Love Lucy, Abbott and Costello, Mad 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 World, like all that stuff. So this is totally my speed. I feel like it's not like my speed exactly but i appreciate like the broad slapstick style i think i i do i genuinely appreciate when like a movie knows what it wants to do and it just goes for it yeah and i feel like that's exactly what they wanted to do and they clearly did it check out emily chanel on the social media subscribe if you haven't already check out our other reactions reviews and short films i'm jabby Koi. this is emily chanel peace out <laughs>